Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give air unto my cry. Hold not thy peace and my tears, for I am a stranger. With thee and a soldier honor, as all my fathers were. O spare me that I may recover strength, or far go hence and be no more. Lord, thy has been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, wherever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. For a thousand years in thy sight, of but as yesterday when it passed away, and as a watch in the night, they are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which grows up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept? Thence by man came death. By man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But some men will say, How are the dead raised up? And what and with what body do they come? All flesh is not the same flesh. There is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another fish, and another bird. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial one is, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. We are assembled this afternoon for the home going service of our departed sister, mother, and friend, Kathy M. Flowers. We will adhere to the printed program knowing Sister Flowers in her Christian walk. And I can say without any reservations that she was genuine in her faith. So with that said, we will have Sister Evangelist Monica Fulmore come with the Old Testament reading. After Evangelist Fulmore, Evangelist Mary Brayboy will come with the New Testament reading. Following the reading, we'll ask Reverend Jerry Small Sr., the pastor of Jerusalem Emmy Church, will come with a prayer of comfort. Amen. We have our new, I'm sorry, the Old Testament reading coming from Isaiah 40, verses 29 through 31. It says, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, He increased strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. God's word for God's people.
I'll be reading from Revelation 21, 4 through 6. And I pray that each reading will be comforted to the family this afternoon. He will wipe every tear from, your, from their eyes. And there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All of these things are gone forever. And the one set on the throne says, Look, I am making everything new. And then he said to me, Write this down. For what I tell you is truth, trustworthy and true. And he also said, It is finished. I am the maker. I am the alpha and the omega. The beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I will give freely from the spring of the water of life. The word of God for the people of God. May God bless each and every one. such occasion as this, we ask that we all come together in prayer. Yeah. Father God, in whom all life has been generated, yes, to the most holy and everlasting God, yes. your word says that you are God. You are holy, you are righteous, you never make a mistake. Never. Everything that goes by, oh God, is by your hand and we come to say thank you this hour for as we come to celebrate life and rejoice heavenly father in the home going of our dear sister god we look to you right now because we realize that yes the storm is raging but oh god you know how to speak to the storm of our life even though the hurt the pain oh god may be on the outside we pray and ask that you bring a peace on the inside. Yes. Oh God, we realize that, that we are just human, oh God. And we have human frailties. But Father, we look to you because in you lieth our strength. Yeah. All of our help and all of our hope. Yeah. For without you, we could do nothing. nothing. But with you, all things are possible. All so Father, as we call upon you this hour, we ask that you strengthen us where we're weak. And where we're falling down, build us up, oh God. Help us to remember that it is in you, oh God, that we find the strength to overcome. You are so merciful. Father, you're so good. You're so, you're so sweet. That Heavenly Father, there is no other place to turn to but you and you alone. We ask that you look down upon each member of this family. Father God, speak a word that calls Heavenly Father life to flow within us. Speak a word, O oh God, that help us to understand that you're too wise to make a mistake. That no matter what happens in our lives, God, you're still in control. Give us wisdom, give us knowledge, and give us understanding, O oh God, so that as we look to the hills from which cometh our help, we realize that our Father, our Father, our Father, our that personal relationship yes. that we ought to have with you, yes. our Father, that you are God yes. overall. Yes. So I ask this day, oh God, fill us with joy. Yes. Even though sorrow is there, give us the joy, Heavenly Father, for we realize that to be absent from this body means that we're present before God. Yes. There's no more sickness, no pain, no death for our dear sister. So God, we call upon you right now. Look at us who are left behind. Give us a comfort, a peace in knowing that we all must walk this way. But strengthen us that we will be right, oh God, when our time comes. Bless all those present here this day that we will be encouragement unto this family, that we will feel their need and that we will, Heavenly Father, meet those needs, not grudgingly, but God, bless us to be the children of the Most High God that you call us to be. Yeah, yeah. Bless this family. And then, God, we ask for a blessing upon the word that is to come today. Stir us, oh God, that we will take inventory of our lives. 
as we realize that for God we must live and for God we must die. Bless and keep us, O oh God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Smalls, for that heart-touching prayer of comfort. And thank you, Evangelist Fulmore and Evangelist Brebor, for the scripture readings. This time, we ask Evangelist Fulmore to come back with the reflections on Sister Flowers as a church member in New Bethlehem. And as she comes up, I just want to share something this morning, it's on me. As I was preparing to come out here uh, for the, to participate in her home going service, I was asking the Lord, Lord, help me get through this. Because it touched me like it touched the family. And there was something playing on the radio this morning in my vehicle from Walter Hawkins, the Hawkins Singers. And this simple song says, I don't sing, so don't worry about me trying to sing. It says, I'm going away. Uh -huh. And those words touched me. Because Sister Kathy, she was, she's a real sunshine. I know she went through something, she, she fought. But you could tell what she was going through when you saw her. Because she was always smiling. She was always smiling. And when I heard that playing, I just said things. She just said, I'm going away. I'm going to a better place where I won't hurt no more. I'm going to prepare a place for my boys, for my sisters, for my family. I know she probably already up there asking, where's the yarn store? Because I got to get some booties and, and, and some caps made for these babies. And, and where's where's the store so I can get some flour and what have you? Because I got to get my cupcakes and my red velvet stuff ready. So y'all put a smile on. Now I'm standing here and I say, I know it's hurting. Because I'm hurting myself. But smile. Smile, because I know she's looking down here and she's ready, she ready to tickle somebody right now. She probably ready to get on TikTok and dance. Anyway, uh, Vanity Fool, go come on with reflection. Amen. Come on. It's a home going celebration. All right. Come on. I truly count it a privilege to be able to stand and talk about my best friend along with Sister Karen Tony, one of her other best friends, Sister Kathy. And one thing I knew about her, she was a great woman of God who loved God and loved the people of God. And one thing I knew about her that she would give you the shirt off her back and go out of the way to help anybody because she has truly been there for me during my struggle we was there for one another and I just thank God for her and many times you know I would go to the house and visit her and after the pandemic came and I would call her and call her and she said I can't wait to see you I said well I don't want to come during the pandemic she said no she said you come because you good she said you ain't got nothing you ain't gonna catch nothing she said I want to see you and I remember one day I came to see her and me and her began to talk. And she told me, she said, Evangelist, I said, you can just call me Monica. And she said, no, I said, just call me Monica. And she said, well, you know what I've been praying for? I said, what? She said, I'm praying God give me a, a just a, a good shout. And I, and I told her, I said, you know, everybody don't shout. Everybody prays God different. She said, no. She said, I'm praying God just give me a good shout. 
And so we kind of laughed for a minute. I said, well, I say, our pastor, Pastor Jack Peterson, I said, you know, he always say, um, this is a teachable moment. So I said, what I want you to do, I want you to put some praise break music on. And she said, what? I said, put some music on. And I told her, I say, if you want to learn how to shout, I said, just pick them up and put them down. She said, what do you mean? I said, you pick one foot up and put it down and pick the left foot up and put it down. And she started doing it. I said, there you go. You got your shout already. And I thank God for her. And she doesn't laugh. And she laughed. And she said, I thank God for you. She said, because you never left me. I said, no. I said, Miss Kathy, when I say I'm a friend of yours, I say I'm a friend. And I thank God that when she came to New Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church, like it was already re reiterated, she always smiled. Always smiling. And I thank God for the friendship that me and her had. And I thank God for strength to be able to stand and talk about her today. Because she was truly a blessing just to all of us. And I know one thing about it. The New Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church will never forget her. Amen. Never. Because she was a great woman of God. And she always has just said that she always tell me before I left her house, before I got the phone with her, she said, friend, she said, God got me. She always said that. She said, God got me. And many times whenever someone passed on, you know, we always say that they lost a battle. But no, I'm going to say Miss Kathy won. She got the victory. And the reason she got the victory is because God got her. Acknowledgements, you have, will have a musical selection played, and after the musical selection, the next voice you will hear will be that of Pastor Jack Matthew Peterson of New Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church. Good afternoon, family and friends. I'd just like to read a few cards that were sent to the Flowers family in your time of need. And the first one reads, for comfort in your loss. In your hardest time, God sees your tears and knows your pain, and he will carry you through. May God give you peace today and hope for tomorrow. Pastor Peterson and New Bethlehem MB Church family. Remembering their uh, beautiful song, God gives every person their own unique song. It's one that will play their entire life long through the love that they give and the gifts that they share, through the memories they make and the dreams that they dare. In sympathy and prayer from Karen and Mickey Tony. Last but not least, we have, you're in my thoughts and prayers. Each time I pray for you, I'm reminded that God who created you and put you in this world together again. That's why I'm asking him to bring you strength and reassurance as you lean on him and rest in his love. From Ella, Philip Burgess, Evangelist Ida Burgess, and the new birth family. The Flowers family will reach out to those that sent uh, cards or calls and condolences at, at a later time. I thank you. Yeah. 
truly be giving honor to God, who is the creator of my life. Because without him, I can't do nothing. So all praises is honor go unto God, my creator, my redeemer, and my source. To our presider, Reverend Kulak, to the pastor of St. James Amy Church, Reverend Smalls, to all the ministers, preacher that are represented here today, we honor you as well. To Nee Smith and Pinkney Fender Home staff, to all the men and friends that are represented here today and to this Marie family. I was searching in a river small. Yeah. I wanted to find a scripture to embrace this family. And I believe the psalmist in 121 Says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. For with cometh not the sum of my hill. Oh, come on. Oh, uh huh. All my hill comes from God. I know I have some witness here. Oh, yeah. Go ahead now. Family, I say to you, look up your help, your redeemer mm -hmm. still lives. Yeah. I've been knowing Sister Flowers for a period of time when she joined the ministry at New Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church. And Sister Flower was a very soft spoken person. But yet a loving person. Yeah. Amen. Amen. See, there's a lot of people doing a lot of talking. Yeah. Go ahead now. But they ain't got no love behind their talk. Uh -huh. Amen. Go ahead. What's the flower with a person that motivate me and keep me encouraged? And as it's been said, a lady of God that, that have accepted Christ. As her personal savior. Yeah, yeah, right. As I was reading the obituary, they say that the sister flower loved to dance. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe she dancing right now. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we thank God for her. We had many conversations with the flowers. Mm -hmm visit to the hospital back at home and as they say she always motivated us and one day so the flower called me and said Pastor Peterson they, 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 they have me on the waiting list to get a kidney transplant and we just rejoice but I'm here to tell you that not only MUSC have a waiting list, but All right. heaven. Yes, I ah, Go ahead. Oh, I appreciate it. Right. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Have a waiting list. Yes. That we didn't even thought about, but heaven said, no, you're not going on. You may, your name may go on MSC waiting list, but I got a list in heaven. Yes. <laughs> and my list overrides. MSC Liz, amen. amen. So she resting in the arms of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you say, New Bethlehem, we are really going to miss at the flower. Amen. I'm really going to miss her smile, her encouragement, amen. amen, her love, her sincerity. I'm going to miss that. And 
I thank God, Jeremiah, for the legacy that your mother had left there at New Bethlehem. Sometime when Jeremiah didn't want to come to church, he would call me and say, Pastor, you need to come. <laughs> and I'll look up, Jeremiah come walking at the back door, coming in. <laughs> so we thank God. 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 Let us pray. Righteous Father, here I am with no strength of my own. But God, I'm leaning on you. And God, I ask that you will continue to strengthen this family. Continue to God to make ways out of no way. And God, we ask that you will continue to hold them And we know you can. Strengthen all the men and friends that are represented here today. And God, continue to hold us in your hand. And God, we speak that, that we preach your divine word. It will preach with clarity, understanding, and conviction. These blessing I ask in his name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Daquan, your mother really loves you as well. Amen. Just before having called to the flower home, I called Deshaun early one morning. And I said, brother, I'm just checking on you. How you doing? Where you at? He said, Pastor, I'm just sitting at the park. I'm just, and it's good just to get away. Yes. Get away. And I rejoice as he got away from everybody. He left the hospital. He said, I need to go to the park. I need to spend some time. And the Bible says, Brother Small, that Jesus went to a solitary place. He yes, got he away. Said. Yes, he yes, did. did. Amen. Tayshawn, your mother loved you as well. And this is my first day meeting you, but she, she talked about you being a time brother. And she loved you. Amen. To the Flower family, uh, the father, Sister Erica, uh, Sister Rita, who I met, God bless you all. And all the brothers and sisters, God bless you all. I want to, I want to, to, to bring your attention to a scripture and Reverend Master again, when I was studying, I, I came across a, a promise. There's so many promises in the Bible and I came across this promise. It was, it's been there in for a period of time, been there the whole while, but you got to look at it and it, it hardened dead. And, and what God did, Reverend McHugh, like he gave me some magnifying glass and said, right, focus right. on it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I want to turn you to turn your heart. You may not have your Bible, but I want to turn your heart to the Word of God and turn your Bibles, if you have it, to Hebrews. Uh -huh. The 13th chapter. What I want you to go, I want to go to 5B. Not 5A, but 5B of that verse. And you'll find a promise. Yeah. And in Hebrews 13, 5B, now look what God said. He said, Obama didn't say, Biden didn't say, Trump didn't say. <laughs> but look what God said, brothers and He said, uh, he'll never leave you. No, will he forsake you? God say that. God say that. 
and I'm going to deal with a subject matter that, that consists of uh, three letters or three words and 11 letters. Three words and 11 letters. And the subject matter is he, oh my God, he never left. Uh -huh. Amen. He never Woo. left. Yeah, yeah. I, I just might get out the chair that dance with some flowers. All right. <laughs> you can. He 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 never. Never. He never. Left. And what I did, Vendor Fimo, I wanted to look up the word and make sure I have a good understanding of the word never. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I looked up the word never, rubber small, and it means at no time. God never left never. Uh -huh. Ooh, never. at no time. Never. Now, you may have people call they may you afraid they'll walk away, but uh -huh. God would never leave, leave you alone. Say. Never. He never uh -huh. left. Uh -huh. Ooh. He never left. Mm -hmm. Looked at the word forsake. Forsake means to abandon or desert. And I'm glad that I serve a God whoo, that would never abandon you. And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes some family member get shame of you. Come on now. But one thing, I serve a God that he don't care who you are. He'll always acknowledge you. Yeah. Always. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And say that my daughter, that my son, mm -hmm. no matter uh -huh. what. Amen. But family, Thank he you. never left. Uh -huh. You may be, I know that we have many questions today. We ask God, God, why? Somebody may be asking, oh, where, 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 where is God? Where is this God? You, you, you say He's a mighty God. He, He's a Prince of Peace. Where is God? Well, I got the answer. He never left. <laughs> He never left. Uh -huh. When the going get rough, don't you know God is right there? Right yes, there. He is. Thank you, Lord. We may have our mask on, uh -huh. <laughs> but don't you know God is standing right there right. with us? Yes. And when low by God, rubbing you, He don't have a mask on. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> he never. Left. He never left. We may be asking God as a say, God, why did you took such the flowers? Don't you know that God has a better plan? Yes. Yes. Our listed Rubber Q were talking earlier today. That the God that we serve, He's able to get water out of the rock. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He never left. Never. He can part the raised sea. Uh -huh. And they were wondering how in the world can they go over? <laughs> but if you serve in the God that I serve. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Ooh, I feel like preaching today. Right. If you serving the God that I serve, uh -huh. 
God will make ways out of no way. Yes, sir. yes, he will. God will even make your enemy feed you. Yeah. Yeah. God never, 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 never laughs. Yeah. Yeah, fam, I know we got questions, mm -hmm. but he never left. Yeah. Cause he say, I'll never leave you. Yeah. God say, I'll never yeah. forsake you. Mm -hmm. So what part of the never we don't understand? Uh, <laughs> never mean never and no time. God left with the flowers. When she was at MUSC in Florence, God was right there with her. When she took her last breath, God was right there. And they wanted to pull the plug earlier. Said we pull the plug, she gonna go, but no, she. I think she stayed about four days. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Why? He never left. Time, life is in God's hands. Yes, sir. Yeah, God gave man wisdom, but life is in God's hands. Yes. And when God gets ready, you got to move when God gets ready. Yes, sir. When God says, pack up, pack up. Yes. Yes. Time to go. He never. Boy, I feel a praise. Uh -huh. He never yeah. left. Amen. Family, you, he's with you all. Yeah. I know our hearts is broken. Uh -huh. I know our eyes is filled with tears. Uh -huh. But if you can remember, if it was a broken heart, through the tears, if you can remember, he never yeah. left. Because he said, I'll never leave you. Uh, he said, I will not forsake you. Yeah, yeah, we're going to miss her. But God is right there in the midst of the sorrow. Yes, he is. Amen. And God got a way of taking that sorrow yeah. and then reward and turn it into joy. Yeah. Amen. Well, I love about Isaiah said we got a garment of praise. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. And I wonder anybody got a praise in here right. today. Right. Anybody say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus yeah. and all that he done for me. Yeah. Woo! Thank you, God. Jesus. Thank you. My soul cries out. Yes, Woo! Anybody feel that praise? Yeah. My soul cries out. I thank God thank you. for saving a wretch yeah. like me. Yeah. He never, Jerry on, he never left. Uh -huh. Teach on, he never left. Uh -huh. Daquan, he never left. Uh -huh. Eric, I never left. Yeah. Rita, he never left. Yeah. He never yeah. left. He'd right there. He'd right there. Yeah. And God will. Mm -hmm. Yes, He will. Continue to see you through. He will. Yes, Amen. Yes. That's a promise. Yes. And family, I want you to hold on. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Hebrew 13, 5b. Yes. God said. Yes. Don't say Robin Peterson say it. No, this is what God said. Yes. And I'm holding on to his word. Yes. Amen. Yeah, I know the word not going down. This word going to stay. Yeah. Yes, Lord. He never, never left. Never left. As I come to a close with this message today, maybe somebody said in this thing they have not accepted Christ. As your personal savior. And maybe you may be saying, Well, preacher, you say he never left, but I never accepted him. I want to give you the opportunity to accept Christ as your personal savior. And what I love about it, amen, 
you don't have to be in the church to get saved. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Once you get your mind made up, repent from the heart. Yes. And ask God to forgive you of all your sins. I'm here to tell you today that God, Jehovah El Shaddai, the mighty God, will save you. Yes, he will. Now, right now, right now, Rubber Small, I, I, I feel a heartbeat. Yeah. I feel my heartbeat. Yeah. But one day, Sister Miguel, my heart gonna stop beating. Yeah. And right now you feel a heartbeat, but same way my heart gonna stop. I want to tell you, your heart gonna stop too. Yes, sir. And the question that God is asking that when our heart stop beating, uh -huh. right. where tell it, tell it, tell it. are you gonna spend mm -hmm. eternity? Yeah. Think about it. Your heart gonna stop. Uh -huh. It's going to stop. Yes, it is. But where are you going to spend eternal life? But we're going to pray and wrap it there. If you mean it from your heart, God will save you right there. I want to thank God is asking that we be sincere and be real with Him. Yeah, yeah. And God but do the work for you. Let us pray. Gracious Father, you made us and you know our hearts. And those that have not accepted you as their personal Savior, God, they're speaking to you and they're saying, God, forgive me of all of my sins. Invite you into my heart. I done wrong, but God, I'm gonna clean up what I done messed up. But God, I cannot do it on my own. I need thee. I cannot even walk without you holding my hand. Saved, delivered to the utmost. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Saints, if you really mean that prayer from the heart, God has saved you. And saints, don't let nobody make you doubt your conversion with Christ. Amen. 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 If you really repent it, God has saved you. But remember the word today, Hebrew 13, 5, B, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Subject matter, he never left. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Minister, you'll come to the middle. At this time, we are going to conduct the final portion of the service which would be the committal for burial let us pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. For as much as it pleased Almighty God in his wise providence 
to take out of this world unto himself the soul of our deceased sister, Kathy M. Flowers. We commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth says the Spirit, they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. This time we will receive our benediction. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This time we turn the service over to the staff of peace. So life of Kathy, uh, life well spent, life well, well loved by so many of you. Also thank God for our ministers. Uh, Peterson was delivered a couple weeks ago. Amen. As a servant, we thank God. Amen. And, and, and we don't realize how important our ministers are. Uh, Reverend Frost, the, the shepherd of the flock here, and to all your ministers come in. Amen. Because it makes this service meaningful, it makes this service more for yes. Thank you so much. May God continue to strengthen you.